Hello friends, I am coming to you very sweaty today and I have a huge pimple on my forehead, but we will persevere because I just wanted to take a quick few moments and that's I think really all I have because we got a surprise dinner invite tonight, but that's what happens when you move to an area where there's more family. So I am having dinner at my in-laws tonight and I don't have as much time as I would like but I did want to show some of the progress we've been making on the house. So I thought I first might start in the bedroom where we actually got started with the art hanging. Uh, it's not like we're doing like big amounts of renovation. We're not doing any renovation right now, but we are just making the space look nice and getting all of our knickknacks and tchotchkes and shelf turds in their places. Also, Yvonne just reinstalled our bidet from the old place today, so now we can poop like civilized human beings. Anyhow, that over there, that is his side of the room, and there's nothing going on there, so we will look at mine instead. I may have given some peeks at this the last time, I don't recall. This is where I have all of my Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab scents and my jewelry. I've got a little cauldron full of travel-sized scents, but more importantly, we've got the art up on the walls. And I'll go through all of the artists that I can really quickly. This is a paper cut by Mon Petit Fantôme. This is a photo by Ellen Jane Rogers. That's some hair art. I don't know where that came from. That was a gift that is a little tiny portrait by uh, Nona Lemon. There are two illustrations by Amy Earls. Um, there is a Baba Yaga by Bill Krasathi and both Bill and Amy are going to be in my forthcoming book, The Art of Darkness, as well as Caitlin McCarthy. She'll be in there too. Then there is Audrey Kawasaki, some more Ellen Rogers, some beautiful embroidery. Two of the pieces were commissioned, and this is by Moonflesh. And that's some dried flowers, and that came from an estate sale. And then we have my little nightstand with some sleepy time scents and some books on dreaming that I will read one day. And we have got a painting by Joanna Ost and a silvery dangly moon thing that I got from Etsy. You know, while I'm showing you the progress, I thought I might update you with some of my favorite things. This is a little pill dispenser case. It, um, you know, you can flip through each day and your pills come out here and it's super cute. And I got this from H Mart. Now across the hall, if you recall, is the guest room. And it's still a bit of a mess, but hey, look at that. We got the guest bed up, so if you're coming to visit, you don't have to sleep on the floor. Finally getting a chance to use the William Morris bed linens again, which I bought about five years ago, and then we promptly got a king-size bed, so I couldn't use them. And we've started to get some of the art up on the walls. I believe these three owls are by Swan Bones. I don't recall exactly. So apologies if that's not her. I think this is Sophia Arjum. I don't know if she does photography anymore, but I do know that she does jewelry. And I believe that um, her jewelry is sold under the name Sophia Zakia. Then we've got some photographic prints that my um, brother-in-law, well, Yvonne's brother, gave him one Christmas. And then some of Yvonne's family art, which, you know, this house is like 75% my crap, so I guess he's allowed to hang up some of his stuff, right? Anyway, that's the guest room. It's still a complete mess, but we can have guests now. Now, if you remember the old place, my parlor was covered in art from ceiling to floor, but 
we're not doing that with this room. Most of that art is going in my office. However, we are putting some of the big pieces up on the wall. This is a Belladonna of Sadness movie poster. It is enormous and the sun shining right on it, so you can't see it very well. This is a Dracula poster, that's Lucy, and it's by artist Sarah Deck. And we saved spot on the other side because I've got a Crimson Peak poster also by Sarah Deck, and that'll go in that spot. And then, of course, we have the eternal fashion icon, Maria Germanova, over in the corner. And I did skip over it just a bit, but in the doorway, we've got this evil eye dangly thing that my friend bought for me, and an Iceland tile from Yvonne's family. If you're new here, uh, Yvonne, my husband, he is Icelandic. We are doing a lot of work on the kitchen. It's just finding homes for everything, basically. But I've got a pot of vegetable broth on the stove that we made from vegetable scraps we've been saving. I'm soaking some black beans. I'm trying to make a lot of food this weekend that we can eat during the week because we have been ordering out a lot since we moved in. And you know, when you order out, it's not like you're ordering healthy food. Who wants that? So today I'm making black beans and I'll put them in tacos and I'll serve eggs over them. And maybe we'll just have a bowl with sour cream and guacamole on top. And also later on today, I'll be making uh, some chicken tikka masala. So between those two things, we'll have dinners for the rest of the week. We finally got a kitchen table. This is something we haven't used yet either. I don't know why someone sent us a card about tequila, but there it is. We've got Yvonne's crepe and evil fever pans on the walls. That's not how you pronounce it. I don't know uh, how you do pronounce it, but they're little like, I don't know, like cast iron cooked balls of dough. And we've got my enormous cast iron skillet that's rusted out, and some art by Yvonne's mother. She took up painting in her 70s, and she has a lot of fun with it. Okay, and this is the big deal room. This is our television room. We finally got the art up in here, although I think we need something a little bit closer to the sofa. I don't know. But, um, and we started getting things up on the shelves in here. This is a set that um, one of Yvonne's aunts sent us because she saw I was posting on Facebook little bouquets that I would gather and put in old plastic Starbucks cups. And so I think she thought I didn't have any vases. So that was a, uh, a really thoughtful gift. And yeah, so I think these are some engravings, maybe from some Icelandic sagas. This is a lady in the swamps or somewhere by Adam Burke of Nightjar Illustration. We've got some landscape stuff. We've got a witch by Adam Burke and Adam Burke is also going to be in my book. And some more landscapes and some more Icelandic sagas. This is our tiki corner. We have got some prints by Shag. Um, I keep thinking this one here is a mermaid, but she's actually not. I think she's being attacked by an octopus. Um, that is by artist Echo Chernik. We have got a very uncooperative harpy who sort of twists and turns willy-nilly and never points the direction that you think she's going to. And we've got all of our tiki mugs. And here's a mess that we haven't cleaned up yet. We've got a console with a bunch of graphic novels, with some record albums, some board games, and down there that's Magic the Gathering cards and yarn. This beautiful broken thing is a piece by artist Jessica Jocelyn. It was a little bat that used to hang up on my uh, back parlor wall just above the windows and the movers broke her face off so I gotta 
contact Jessica and see if there's any anything that can be done about this. And then over here we have our cuckoo clock and some art by Tin Can Forest, who I would have loved if they could pee in my book, but I never heard back from them. Major sad face. So finally, my favorite room in the house is my office. And now this is a space that I just love to be in. Let's turn on a light. So we've got more art by Tin Can Forest, Mon Petit Fantôme, Becky Munich, Darla Teagarden, I think this is Robert Kreza, Becky Munich up there, my friend Micah. This is an antique uh, portrait or print or something. I don't know who the artist is. I can't remember. This is by Fevernest Elsa Olson. This is by Sam Gibson. More Micah photos. That is an Yvonne Garcia paper cut. More from Mon Petit Benton. Becky Munich, Mon Petit Fantôme. I think that's Charmaine Olivia. That is an artist on Instagram who goes by the name Beauty Markings, I believe. More Darla Tea Garden. More, uh, well, not more. I only have one piece. This is by Embroiderer Adipocere. That is by Adele Mildred, who is also um, a hat maker, I believe. I think there's a word for that, but I can't think of what it is. We've got a party Medusa by Becky Munich. This was for my birthday a few years ago, which was very sweet. And an original illustration by Yvonne Garcia. This is a photographic print by Rick Garrett. This is actually in my first book, The Art of the Occult. And then we have my chest full of tarot cards. Now I'll never be able to close this. My antique dolls and some one-of-a-kind dolls. And more books, but I'm pretty sure I've shared these before. There's my antique writing desk, which is full of junk mostly, but I do keep things for correspondence in there. And then we have got my haunted house wall. This is a photo by Nora Lemon that I received as an extra for the book of hers that I kickstarted. And there's more Becky Munich, more Becky Munich. You might get the sense that um, I really enjoy Becky Munich's art, right? And there's another piece by her. This is an original work by David Seidman, and this is going to be in the Art of Darkness. This is a um, print by Daniel Danger. This is a, an original one-of-a-kind doll by Carrie Kate. I don't know if she's doing these anymore, but these were really lovely little dolls. And then another print from Nona Lemon. And more books. Nothing has changed with this. And we have my desk. And this is where I wanted to share some of my more colorful art. I believe that's a little print by, I think her name is Rebecca Artemisia. This is some embroidery and I think it's by My Gothic Granny. And there is a story behind this. This is the action, <laughs> this is, um, I think it is a weird translation from French of um, a perfume description. And we have a saint that I got from Roses and Rue Antiques and a print from comic artist, John Allison. We've got Rebecca Chaperone and Susan Jameson and some prints from James Jane, who I would have liked to have been in the Art of Darkness but he never responded to me. And over here, 
is some creepy hands or are some creepy hands by Liz Lopez and two pieces and I can't remember the artist's names so I'll, I'll try and find them and add them to the description I've got my little altar to the art of sampling perfumes up here all of these are perfumes I have yet to sample I think what I'm going to do is change out the art and the um, scarf or whatever's underneath everything seasonally. And then over here, I extended it. This is actually a file cabinet, but these are the perfumes I have already sampled. Which brings me to some more favorites. This is Debaser from DS and Durga. And it's a figgy coconut that's not extremely fruity or creamy. It's weird. It's weirdly mineralic and dry. And it's like, it's like, um, it's like if A24 films made a perfume. And funny enough, this is a candle that A24 made. I think it is um, scented for the fantasy genre of film. But anyway, that's, that's not a current favorite. It's nice, but not right now. Uh, also, there is uh, Blackbird from Olympic Orchids. And this is a beautiful, earthy blackberry. And I didn't think I like fruity scents. And I don't. I'm not going to say that I do, but I like this one. It is, it is the Goblin Market in a bottle. And then also, there is, um, this is a collab a collaboration between uh, Regime des Fleurs and Batsheva, the uh, fashion designer. And it's a sort of, um, it's a weird violet. It's as if, I, I know this word is overused, but it's a liminal, it's a liminal scent. It's like just beyond the looking glass, but it's not quite to nightmare land. It's a weird little scent and I really enjoy it. Okay, a few more favorites. These were new to me. Whoops. These are decorative tacks. And I thought they were really neat. We used those to hang up my embroidery. So I just thought that was a really neat idea. I like those. Also, yes, I'm still making crazy colored socks. I think this is my favorite one so far. Those are great colors. This is my favorite new little notebook. I'm using it to make perfume notes. I picked this up in Philadelphia when I went to visit my best good friend for my birthday last month. And this is the first time I saw them since before the pandemic. And we just had such a great time. Um, for my birthday, we went to see Neil Gaiman speak. That was phenomenal. And I just had the best day. We pulled all of uh, their perfumes out of the cabinets and we did a bunch of little Midnight Stinks episodes. And I'm going to insert some footage of one of them, which was a lot of fun. It was actually them pretending to be me. Tonight on Midnight Stonks, we're getting ready for hot centaur summer and plunging into the cool equine filled sea to emerge as our best sexy hybrid man bee selves. Old Sarah just wasn't ready to immerse herself in the fever dream of man merging with feral muscle and sinew to bear witness to many a dark fantasy. But today Sarah is here to mend her woeful misjudgments. Uh, but anyway, aside from that, I am marking my place here with an illustration by, of course, Becky Munich. But I commissioned Becky to do this for my, um, my Patreon, which I launched last month. So I'm going to link to that in um, the description box below. Uh, if, you're, if you've been wondering over the years, if you've been you know, reading my writing and the things that I post and wondering, what can I do to support this weirdo? You might consider... Um, joining my Patreon. And that's where I'm, um, well, I'll show you. I'm going to insert some screen recording footage here. But that's where I am sharing some exclusive perfume reviews, maybe some 
early reviews before I post them up on TikTok. And I am also sending some scented letters and some scent samples uh, to certain tiers. So if that sounds interesting to you, I hope you will join. And I look forward to chatting with you there. So The Art of Darkness, it is going to be out in three months time. And if you have pre-ordered, I don't recall mentioning this in the last video, but if you have pre-ordered, go to, um, well, I'm going to link it in the description box, but you can fill out a form and you will get some pre-order bonus goodies. And I can show you what they are. Okay, well, I can show you one of them. This is a sticker of a piece in the book by Susan Jameson. You're also going to get a postcard of the cover art and a signed book plate. So if you have pre-ordered, go and fill that out so you can get those, those fun things. And if you're thinking about pre-ordering, well, that's, that's a good reason to, right? So if you're nosy, you may be wondering, what are the other links or what are the other pages that I have open up here? So the next one over is a designer that I just discovered. Her name is Monica Avina. And these are some very low key casual outfits that you know, you can just wear around the house or to Walmart or whatever, right? Gorgeous. Next over is a recipe. This is for spicy vegan, quote, honey garlic tofu. I have been uh, obsessed with recreating a recipe for tofu and broccoli and garlic sauce. And I have been making some version of that like three times a week for the past three months. I stumbled upon this recipe and it is actually better. Uh, now, because I am not vegan, I do use actual honey. And more often than not, I don't use tofu. I use soy curls, but any version of, you, of this that you make is, is really good. Next is an artist, a new to me artist named Peter uh, Polak, Polach. I'm not sure how you pronounce his name, but I really love the luminous grotesquery. The next tab over is a lamp from Anthropology that I want, except it's a lot of money. It's $150 and I just don't think it's worth it. Speaking of books and reading, I did just post an enormous collection of reviews of the books that I've been reading since March or so. There's nearly 20 books included in the list. So if you are interested, there's weird fiction, there's a bunch of mysteries, there's some horror, um, all of the things that I like to read. Oh, yes, I know nobody asked, okay? But I thought I might share some of my favorite skincare lately. This is the Biosense, Biosense, Bio, Biosense, I'm not really sure. Squalene and Amino Aloe Gentle Cleanser. This is nice for my easily irritated skin. This smells disgusting, but it's supposed to be good for pigmentation and dark spots. This is a spray that's for brightening and repair. Um, I think there's a, yes, this is a vitamin C serum that I've gone through about two bottles, so I guess I like it. Oops. This is some eye stuff that actually my circles under my eyes look worse than ever, but I don't have any lines around my eyes. For a 46 year old person, I am remarkably unwrinkled. So that's good. This is peach and lily matcha pudding, which I like for the summertime. I mean, it's not pudding, it's a face cream, obviously, but it's light and it's bouncy and it smells really nice. And I use that one in the morning, and this is the one I use at night. The mochi mochi is what sucked me in. I had to have that. It sounded cute. It works okay, I guess. I mean, how do you know? Unless you just, you don't turn into a wrinkled leather bag, which is the, uh, the goal, right? 
And then when I do like gua sha stuff, this is the, the oil that I use. It smells nice and I, I like their line. It's super expensive, but um, I try to be sparing with it. And I basically have these lip balms in every room in the house. Also, I am super into plastic bins lately. I actually have a little guest linen closet. This is our guest bathroom, by the way. There's a leak in the master bathroom. And I got lots of bins in here. I feel like I've finally arrived at being an adult when you have like four tubes of toothpaste on backup. That's something, right? We've, we've arrived. And in the linen closet just across the hall, I've got my enormous plastic bin full of candles and masks because we are still wearing masks everywhere. Even though everyone else in Florida is basically an asshole and nobody else does, we sure do. Okay, I'm going to try and wrap this up quickly because my phone's camera is acting super weird and doesn't want to record anything. But I have three more perfumes that I'm really enjoying right now and I wanted to share with you. The first is Basilica from Milano Fragrenze. And it's sort of, um, well, it's like a, uh, leaving his centuries old abbey and attending a local bake sale. It's a little bit musty and gourmand adjacent. And I think this is my new signature scent. And then we have, <clears throat> Uh, this is The Ghost in the Shell from Etatli Durange, which is a house that I love most of their scents, but the ones that I hate, I really hate. If you caught my TikTok earlier this week, I talk about my thoughts on um, you or someone like you, which has replaced Victor and Ralph's Flower Bomb as my most hateful perfume. Anyway, this is like a plastic prosthetic musk, a lactonic speculative peach, and it's, it's a fragrance that feels like an AI generated it. And then lastly is this hair and body mist from Moroccan Oil. If you use their hair oil, you know how nice it smells. This is like a warm, clean scent, like you just stepped out of the shower. And I hate to shower, so this is perfect. And it's uh, a bit incensey too. And I just spray with gleeful abandon. It's really nice. Oh, and one thing I almost forgot that is another current favorite. This is a pair of socks that I got from my friend AJ's um, online shop, um, Shop Calma. And it's a sort of death positive vintage and antique accessory and apparel shop. These are super, super cute. Oh, and one more thing. I get really um, enamored of TikTok sort of viral recipes. And one is this grinder salad sandwich that everyone's talking about. It's this big drippy salad with, I don't know, whatever on it, but it's dressed with this gloppy lettuce and oregano and red wine vinegar sort of um, uh, relish, not a relish, I'm not really sure what to call it. But anyway, I just make a whole salad of that and it is so good. It's, um, it's gonna be linked down in the comments along with the tikka masala and the black bean recipe that I use as well as the rabbit and wolf soy curls. Oh, and one more last thing. I am wearing the loveliest dress that was made by a friend of mine. She didn't make this for me, um, but she is a seamstress and she's, she makes a lot of her own clothing and she's um, divested herself recently of some of them. And this is just the cutest dress and it has pockets. So just wanted to show that off. So that is what I have been up to. I hope you will like and subscribe and you know check out my patreon and maybe buy a copy of my book and all that and if nothing else leave a comment and let me know what you're reading lately or what perfumes you're trying and um until we chat again till later weirdos <laughs>